Hello everyone, so this episode could be really interesting because I want to try to kill as many birds as possible with one stone. So the episode is important because of two reasons. The first one is... Oh, let's roll the intro. So the two reasons why this episode is important is... One, I think the marimba is the best instrument to introduce music to someone because of the simplicity and the way the notes are laid out. It's like laid out linearly compared to other instruments. So the more you learn about the marimba, the more you understand music in general. So the second reason is I'll introduce you to the soccer beat, which is just a, a group of chord changes which have been used as the backbone and foundation of most African genres. So for you to understand better what I'm talking about, uh, here are four examples of something I hope you will know because I can't play the songs because of copyright issues. So just listen to the tunes and I hope you, you will know at least one or two of, of them. So now that you understand the importance of this episode, let's start the lesson now. So this specific marimba we're looking at today is tuned in the key of C, which just means uh, the musical number line is being started from C, going to D, E, F, and it goes on like that, but starting from C. So in the first marimba episode, which you should go watch if you haven't, I forgot to introduce you to sticks so or beaters. So these are the sticks and there are two two techniques to hold them. The first technique is easy, just hold one stick with one hand. The second technique is two sticks in one hand, but we're just gonna focus on the first technique for today. So for you to play this tune, you do not have to memorize the specific notes you should play, but you just have to know the shape and the movement. So let's go to the shape. Um, so I'll introduce you to two shapes, the square shape, which means you leave one note in between two notes, and the rectangle shape, which means you leave two notes in between the other two notes that you're hitting. But today we're just, we will just be uh, focusing on the square shape. Uh, that's all we'll be using today, so it's gonna be easy. So this is the movement. Starting from C, uh, if, you, if you do the square shape, if you start from C, it means that the note that you're hitting is E. So you hit, those are the beginning notes, and then you hit those notes uh, three times for this example, and then you move one step to the right. Then you, with the, using the same, same shape, and then you hit those notes three times as well. And then you go one step back to where you started and hit those notes three times as well. And then lastly, you move to the left and then hit those notes three times. And that's the whole cycle. So now that we've learned one cycle, let's go to the rhythm now. You just memorize the rhythm, it's easy. So it's, it will sound like this. So if you add the djembe that we learned from the previous djembe episode, go watch it if you haven't, um, it will sound like this. So now we've got marimba and djembe in the song, we're gonna add even more instruments, including the mbira. So yes, mbira episodes are coming and we'll even 
add more uh, instruments to it to make it big. So again, remember this episode of the soccer beat because our, as we learn more uh, African genres in future, I'll be referencing the soccer beat uh, and you have a deeper understanding of uh, how the genres kind of came up and for you to not miss those episodes um as always subscribe and comment with any questions Uh, i'll see you next week boom